Hi, Ninke. Hi. How are you? Good. Very good, thank you. Okay, can you, um, can you tell me something about you? About me as a person? As a person. Uh, I'm Ninke Tromp and uh, I was born in Friesland, the northern part of the Netherlands, Leeuwarden. And um, when I was 17 I moved to Delft to study industrial design engineering. And after finishing this I started a PhD research to the use of products and the unintended influence this has on people's behavior. And I'm interested in this phenomenon because it, it is an incredibly fascinating phenomenon in itself, but I also think that if we manage to control this power of design that we can, uh, as designers, can contribute to social issues, or into solving social issues, I must say. And um, I like to go to theater, watch movies, and drink a beer and wine, so this is me, yeah. So, and why Delft? Um, you, had, you could choose from um, several, several countries in the Netherlands or even in the world to go study industrial design? I must say that at the time the other two, because I think the only two that are similar now is Eindhoven and Twente, uh, they did not even cross my mind. It was, uh, it was Delft who was at that time I think the most renowned university to study this industrial design engineering. And, uh, it's at the heart of the Netherlands, so to speak. So, uh, yeah, I think that's the reason. Okay. Uh, can you tell me something more about this PhD you're doing? Um, well, I'm actually finishing it at uh, the moment of speaking. I'm writing uh, uh, my dissertation. Um, well, actually, my book uh, is built up in three parts. And the first is understanding the implicit and often unintended influence of products on human behavior. So the main example I always give is the use of the microwave. So many people use the microwave and it is launched as such to uh, heat up in, or to, to prepare the cooking. Um, but it is used mainly to, to heat up individual meals. So as a side effect, as a consequence of this, families started to have less, less dinners together. And um, these kinds of social, these kind of social implications, those are important because the social uh, dinner, the, the, the family dinner, uh, appeared to have a, a function in family as such, but also for children, because you know it's a moment that people start making jokes, that people tell each other about what happened in the day, and these kind of moments are important for the development of the child. So uh, the microwave didn't cause any serious troubles, but it contributes to a certain lifestyle and certain social rules and, uh, and rituals we have, so we should feel responsible about it as designers. That's what, uh, so the first thing is to understand this influence, the second part is uh, about studies that show and support designers in actually doing this, and the third part is measuring whether we actually are able to control these influences of design. So those are the three parts of my book. Are we able to influence? Of course. Of course. <laughs> When, when, do you, when do you plan to finish? Um, well, that's not so clear yet. I hope to have finished the uh, final or complete draft by the end of uh, September. But then it needs to go to my promoters and then it needs to go to an external committee. So before defending it, will uh, that's next year, 2013. Okay, good luck. Thanks. Um, um, are you familiar with TED and TEDx? In what sense? Have you seen movies online? Yeah, sure. You, yeah. You've, have you visited a TEDx event? I went to TEDx Delft uh, last year. Okay. Yeah. And? I liked it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it was a really nice mixture of uh, some serious talks and some light-hearted talks. And, uh, I, yeah, I really liked it. Okay. Um, and you have seen some, some videos online um, on TED.com. Yeah. Um, which of them you liked the most? Um, well, I, I must say, I, I, I don't have a very uh, one that pops in my mind immediately. I, I, the most, most of the movies that I like best are the movies that, uh, the, the talks that are about human behavior. So Philip Zimbardo or Franz de Waal has a very nice, uh, Dutch biologist has a nice movie. Um, 
but I knew I'm, I was prepared for this question, of course, and I was thinking, what, what would I suggest to other people? And I never suggested that movies to other people somehow, but I did once, four years ago, four years ago, and it was a movie of uh, the talk of uh, Paula Scher. I didn't know her, I don't know her so well at the moment, but she's a graphic designer, and she reflects upon her career, and actually she, she denotes some particular moments about what she calls serious play. And I, when I when I look back at the movie, I, I remember why I liked it so much because it, she explains very well how nice it is to expand the borders of your own discipline. So she's edu educated as a graphic designer, but she moves into architecture and uh, and other types of disciplines. And I think that's that's also what I hope to do. I hope to cross, to expand the border of my discipline and and also my also my own comfortable space of working. So seeking for challenges that go beyond your familiar way of working. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so this year you're going to be on stage of Telex Delft. Yeah. Um, what part of it does excite you the most? Um, the stage part? <laughs> no, I like uh, what, I, what I truly... I, I mean that excites me, but it's not the most exciting thing uh, that I look forward to. It is what I truly hope and what excites me the most is the chance that it indeed will spread that the idea will indeed spread the world and that, they, that it might have an impact the so, hope, so 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 i'm not i'm not saying that i uh, I, I think it has an impact but i truly hope it has an impact. i truly hope that it will uh, affect somehow some politicians or countries that uh, that change because of something I propose, yeah. Okay, thank you. And why, why should people uh, come to TEDx Um I think because um, it helps you to, in a very comfortable and inspiring way, get acquainted with a range of topics and disciplines that are present in the world that can inspire you and help you also define your personal goals, just to get inspired, I guess. Okay, thank you very much. Um, I'm looking forward to your talk on uh, October 5th. See you yes. then. Okay, see you then.